had the first community testing sites in the country. And the feds thought we were nuts and just wanted to like get us off their back and so said, fine, go ahead and do your stupid little community site. <laughs> and, the, and, and, we, and we did, and that's all we did. Um, and because of that, we're now, in all of the other work that we're, that we're doing, we have that model. We have partners that trust us now. We have partners we can work with to dismantle some of the other terrible health outcomes that we historically have had in New Orleans. So I would never wish another pandemic on my worst enemy, but it, it did show us that there could be a different way. So, John, give me a minute. And uh, <laughs> in the spirit of Notre Dame, in the spirit of uh, education, in the spirit of community. Uh, I was taught by my family that you should always give people flowers when they're alive. Uh, we, and here in this room, went from the number three. It was a double dose of cortisol and epinephrine because we were number three at one point in the world. It's number one, number fastest, one death fastest death rate. Yes, and she's talking. But the person sitting to my left is responsible for us being number one in flattening the curve. And I will take my minute to, can we just please? Sounds like we need to clone a couple people here on that. <laughs> right on that. 